My name is Carl E. Kissner. My cousin and I were assigned the dubious honor of cleaning out the attic after the passing of my aunt. Now, the attic hadn't really been touched in about 100 years. Everybody just kept adding to it. Nowhere in our wildest imagination did we think we would find the, the golden gem. Mm -hmm. We work our way all the way to the end of the attic, and it's just this stuff piled to the rafters as high as you can go. And we come across some of the kids' toys, uh, in particular a dollhouse that was our mother's. Below this dollhouse is this box right there. And what was in the box was worth a fortune. The box contained bundles tied with string of hundreds and hundreds of baseball cards. There was, there was well over 800 cards. Ty Cobb, Cy Young, Honus Wagner. These are truly baseball greats. These are all Hall of Famers. Cleaning through an attic of, of all the stuff of 100 years, you never know what you're going to find. Thank God we looked twice at the baseball cards. Cards of this nature, 100 years old, had never, ever been found in this condition and in this quantity. You are totally stunned when you truly do find out that, oh my, I'm holding a box of baseball cards that's worth $3 million. Carl isn't the only one dusting off that old card collection. Annual baseball card sales are estimated at $200 million. Cards are graded using a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best. Before Carl's find in 2012, only one Ty Cobb from the series had ever managed to grade as high as seven. But how many do you think Carl had? Not two, not even four, not even 10. He had 16 Ty Cobb cards, all with a grade of nine. So was it just dumb luck that such valuable baseball cards happened to show up in a Defiance, Ohio attic? Maybe not. If you follow the data, it starts to make sense. Defiance, Ohio was baseball country. The city was surrounded by seven major league teams. And back in 1910, there were only 16 teams in the whole league. 